Hey, what's going on guys? So moving swiftly onwards, now I'm actually just going to be walking and talking you guys through a very cool method of how to actually apply a set color correction or a set color grade to not only just an individual clip, but actually how to create an adjustment layer, which is an overall a layer that is a uh, has the ability to do certain tweaks to it that will affect everything below that layer. So this is going to be exploring how we would actually go about adding a color grade or a color correction to an adjustment layer, putting that adjustment layer above a, a, a set a long sequence of clips, but for us here, for our example, it's only going to be three, and how that adjustment layer that we're going to place above these clips would actually affect everything below it, and, uh, you know, henceforth be a very cool and easy way of actually adding a color correction to one quick, easy layer, and throwing that over every other layer, instead of going through a very tedious, boring process of, you know, copy-pasting the, uh, the, the color grader, the color correction preset on Lumetri to all your individual clips that you want it to appear on, or you know, any number of, uh, of other methods to do this other than our method of actually using the adjustment layer. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, what we're looking at right here is three basic clips taken from a sequence that I uh, worked on on uh, for some sort of video a long time ago. It's some cool footage that's in the forest, but all of these clips are actually gathered from the same area of us kind of looking into this kind of ruined little area that we found in the woods. Now, I want you guys to be selecting a clip within your um, actual project or just be selecting your project and go up here to file, then go across to new, and then you can actually go down to adjustment layer. And when you click that, it's going to pop up whether it wants to create that with the same dimensions as your clip, um, as your sequence currently has. I'm going to press OK, and it will pop up as a totally different file inside of your project manager. And what you guys can simply do here is click and drag, and actually just drag that over and put it so that it actually covers the entire set of clips that you're trying to add a color correction or a color grade to to actually affect everything. And then it's a very simple procedure from here to actually apply that is just to go to our, our adjustment layer, select that. So we are making adjustments to this adjustment layer, go over here to our creative, um, and then proceed to add a color correction or a color grade. So for me, just for an example, I could go ahead and redo that procedure where we actually would go and locate our, um, our LUT that I let you guys download. And now we can actually just let that loose. And now it is going to have added this LUT. If we bring this actually down to about 70, like we had it before, it is going to have added that LUT. I'm just going to mute that layer so I don't have to listen to it, but it's going to have added that LUT to this entire sequence of clips and you'll see when it actually does start to play this next set of sequence uh, this next clip in the sequence it obviously has the exact same color and the exact same tonality and including this third one as well as all of them are underneath this adjustment layer which now encompasses everything below it and it will actually start performing a color grade and a color correction to everything that is below this uh, adjustment layer for example if we cut it there and the adjustment layer was over all of our other clips but it did not not cover over this final layer right here, this final layer is going to be uncolor corrected. Likewise, if we finally just dragged it over, it is going to have actually encompassed everything below this. And uh, overall, adjustment layers are a great way to either just add a little bit of pop to your images. For example, if you had actually added a color correction to your images below, for example, I could just duplicate this and just add it to this image down here and then remove it here. Um, and then that would obviously be on here. Um, so say we had uh, three clips, all of them that had this Lumetri color already on it, we could actually use that adjustment layer even as just like a slight tweak. For example, we could put the adjustment layer in there and actually just start bringing the temperature a little bit cooler, for example, if maybe we were, we were trying to set the scene that this was maybe like a wintry shot or something. And even though we've we've added that layer below um, to the actual individual clips of the color grade, this slight color correction could be changed in the tonality of a variety of different clips. Again, that's just a random example and a random scenario that you might perhaps be in where you might need to change the tonality or you could literally just use that adjustment layer up there to actually create an entire color grade instead of um, instead of just doing a little tweak like that but whatever you use it for the adjustment layer is a great way of adding stuff over the top or if you don't want to go in and actually tweak the uh, the individuals and, co and copy and paste a color grade to all of your clips you could just go ahead and throw that on an adjustment layer and just go ahead and drag that out 
over the course of your entire clip selection. And it will, of course, apply that preset and apply those settings to all the clips that display below that particular adjustment layer.